Oh, I didn't realize that. Hey, we're back. Uh, I just Not realized. Surprise. My, well, I just realized that my scene transitions aren't going off. Uh oh. So I'll have to mess with that. Transitions. Eh, it, it's really nothing major. It it just it's just a sudden jump rather than a smooth transition. Um. So, I mean, I'll just have to play with it a little bit. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Um, but yeah, we back for a week. Yeah, we're back for another week, y'all. I am so excited to be here again. I miss D&D. There's been a lot of lore dumped these last two sessions. Which is why we're going to let Mr. Lore Keeper himself do the recap this week. Who is that again? I do not have any... Um, anything to really say here at the beginning. Um, hmm. I can't think of anything, not to my knowledge anyway. So I think I'm going to go ahead and turn it I over like to, it to, <clears throat> to you. There is a birthday we got to celebrate. Um, oh? Happy birthday, Godzilla! <laughs> the original Godzilla was released 69 years ago. Nice. I want to make sure of something real quick. And it is not picking up on stream. Oh, that's sad. Oh, Why does it sound like a car strike to start? Wait, hold on. It actually might be coming through on... Okay, it's coming through on my Ow. microphone channel, so Just what I needed. Um, it's ahead. fine. Uh, not exactly where I wanted it to be coming through on, but it, it, it's fine. Oh, and also, if you have joined us, good timing. Yay, yeah, during the roar. What a great time to join us during a Godzilla roar. <laughs> oh, and yeah, please. so I am trying to do it on my phone this time so that when Caleb gets home, we're not coming from the same mic. And I joined right as that fucking sound was coming through my headphones. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> By the way, um, uh, if you weren't awake before, you are now. Uh huh. Yes. So, um, I mean, you don't have to worry about that. Just as a FYI, um, so just I I know I asked blind about it last week, um, or this week. I don't really remember. It was primarily just kind of as a so I know what the hell is going on. Um, it's not really a big deal if you guys are using the same microphone and computer and stuff like that. I just wasn't aware of what was going on because I know we had talked about it in the past. Um, and things change rapidly. Um, so I wasn't sure where things stood currently. And that's what my, my questioning w was. Gotcha. Okay, I mean, if it's not a problem, then we might still do it from the computer, just because it's a little bit easier. Yeah, absolutely. I 100% understand that and have no problem with that. Like I said, that was mainly just me checking in to see where we stood. <clears throat> yeah, it'll obviously be a lot easier once I finally have my own computer. Yeah, but you also just started working again, so take some time, build up your guys' savings, you know, take care of yourself first. This is a hobby, not a career. Yes, Even though uh, some obviously. Even would like it to be it, a career. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'd love that yeah, to be a career, mention, but unfortunately... Yeah. It's a hobby. <clears throat> not to mention, we also have to worry about saving up for another apartment in by February, and uh, Caleb needs a new car pretty soon, and saving up for a house in the nearest future, and all that other shit. So, yeah. Just as an FYI, we Fun. are live, just as a reminder. Hello, everyone. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know, but okay. It's alright. Um, I mean, <laughs> that was why we were doing the... That was why I was doing the roar! Um, roar. And, and, we uh, were telling the stream... It's Godzilla's birthday today. I do need to adjust uh, and um, to answer your question that you did not ask me, yes, the husband just got off work, so he is driving home. I just saw it pop up on his computer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, uh, stalker much? <laughs> uh, yes, no. <laughs> 
Well, at least he'll be pretty early compared to the times he's normally been when his job's just been like, no, nah, you're not leaving till 10. Yeah, oh, uh, I don't know if he cares if I tell you or not, but he finally put his two weeks in his night job. Woo! Hey. Yeah. Finally get out of that <laughs> hellscape. Yes. What is going on with my aspect ratio? Actually, you know what? I wonder if that's on something else. Sorry, my, my microphone is all over the place, and I'm trying to figure out why it's picking up the air. The air? <laughs> I don't hear it. Yeah, it's like a little... <clears throat> nope. I mean, that's fine that you're not hearing it, but it looks like it's picking up on stream, and that's my biggest issue. Oh, there it is. I hear it now. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna see It almost sounds my... like background noises of like a grocery store or something. Or park. Surprise. Okay, how are we doing there? Now I think it's only picking up whenever you talk. Oh, that's an improvement. Okay. Um, I mean, that basically just, that, that was mainly my noise gate. I'm going to work my noise suppression here a little bit. Because <clears throat> that should. But in the meantime, we can have lore, man. Recap. Yes, Do please, please, please. Okay. So previously on Moondust, we had ended the tyrannical reign of Torben upon the island of Hofkeen. And... We're fortunate enough to meet with the goddess of knowledge herself, um, who brought us down into the depths in the heart of Hofkeen to meet with the two titans, Korath and Eldervale. So we were in, essentially last session was a question and answer session where we got a whole bunch of uh, answers to our burning questions that we've been formulating for a few days before stream. <laughs> I have to very, very quickly, um, just because I gotta check something. Everybody hears me, okay? Yeah. 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 Okay. I figured out what the okay. problem was. Technology. Uh, for whatever reason, um, my application was trying to use uh my camera as my microphone <laughs> rather than my microphone oh. as my microphone. Uh, That's interesting. It, it, All right. It, my well, my camera, my camera is always plugged into my computer, and my microphone is not always plugged into my computer. So it was just the microphone that got picked up first because I turned my computer oh. on before I turned my microphone. I just okay. didn't think about it. Anyway, thank so you. the wrong mic. Gotcha. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to get, I just wanted to get it, make sure that I was being, that I was there. Okay. So please continue. Thank we you. We lost so an Asta, by the way. Probably changing over She'll to be the back. computer. We, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah. So, first and foremost was, what can we do about the uh, about the Harmony Crystals to stop the islands from falling? Um, nobody actually asked that question, but that's kind of what came up. Um, we, we, got, we got the answer to that. Um, as Dinoch put Torben's stolen soul from his soul cage into the Harmony Stone, Scientia told us that uh, pretty much if we could find a powerful fae to offset him, they would be complete opposites and would make the Harmony Stone self-powering for an extremely long time because there is balance. I do have to um, say real quick, it's because he's a vampire. Fae yes, counters he is vampire. an undead. So demon would yes. be countered by angel. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So as long as we have a matching pair Undead. of souls that could be an, an eternal conflict with each other, we can uh, power the Harmony Stones almost indefinitely. So that gives us a good starting point for our next objective. <clears throat> then, um, let's see. I asked about my wild magic specifically, how I can fix it. And 
uh, Scientia made it made a remark that apparently Katia is one of the rare types of sorcerers. Um, we got a little more lore dump between the... I mean, it's more like a uh, a recap on the existing lore of how Wild Magic came to be, and that was uh, Tenoror, oh no, sorry, Tenebris and Ravarora had a pact. They had a child named Tenoror, and that was where Wild Magic uh, started to started to come into play. Uh, <clears throat> and Katya essentially carries de- demonic blood in her in her veins because of it. I also do, do want to do, point do. out that um, the whole the um, the teneb the tenebrous uh, portion of that wild magic um, mm-hmm. information was was brand new noise. Um, yes. That was not something you guys were aware of. Yeah. So Tenebris would be sort of like a great, 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 great times a million grandfather to Katya. Yes. If you really want to think about that. Um as for controlling the wild magic within Katya's veins, um Scientia gave gave some ideas. Uh, one, one specifically, she might be able to make something that could help reduce the frequency of the outbursts, uh, given enough time. As an alternative, um, she, Katya could just make a pact with one of the titans in the room, looking back and forth between Elder Vale and Korath. And so, um, while Katya pondered on that one. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah. Katya chose Koroth specifically. Uh, apparently Koroth has been has been trying to figure out why her eggs have haven't hatched after two thousand years. Kor- For those of you who have been out of the loop, Koroth is a Kraken. Um, living on Hofkeen as one of the guardian deities. And her eggs have been dormant for 2,000 years, and Katya essentially offered to help with that in exchange for some of her power. Next was how to help with Dinoch's wife, the curse that has been placed upon her. Um, we apparently need to secure a platinum dragon scale in order, in order to move along with that. Except most dragons have gone extinct or into hiding since the Great War and after the Rise. There is one that is apparently on an island in the middle of the four oceans, uh, down on the surface, but is guarded by some creature known as Zimrar, a creation of uh, Scientia's. So that's another thing that we can look into. Do, 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 reading along. Oh yeah, shit's going down on uh, Valinor's Island. <laughs> that's about all I can say on that one. Don't die, man. Sorry, I... Phlegm. <clears throat> My rule. Your rule? Uh, what's my rule? I don't know. What if is your rule? Die, if you're going to die, die quietly. Oh, well, I'm in the middle of speaking, so you're just going to have to hear every second of it. Uh, <laughs> Bet. Right. <laughs> you're fine. Continue. So meanwhile, <laughs> Zenos, who hadn't spoken up this whole time, was kind of taking stock of the whole situation. And finally, he asked, how will we kill the Sleeping King? Fortunately for us, the Sleeping King, while extremely powerful, is he still has weaknesses because he is a mortal. Not immortal. He hasn't ascended yet. Yes, he is a man-made god and is still mortal and can be slain as such. He particularly doesn't like radiant damage, but he's immune to necrotic, so that's our 
a little bit of a meta gaming thanks to Scientia, the goddess need, of meta gaming. I do need to add a little bit of a of a um addendum to that because I do have a specific note um about this. Um, oh, and I found it. Okay. Um, they she talks. She would have explained uh, during this that um, <clears throat> a divinely forged weapon or object, which I'm going to be frank with you guys, anything of a certain cal over a certain caliber, it would be considered a divinely forged object. I know that you guys have at least two of these objects in the party. Um. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. If that weapon can receive a blessing by knock, it will further enhance and overwhelm his. Uh, I feel like we heard this before somewhere. Rug. Uh, I don't know. Not to my knowledge. I don't I'll know. have to look back on that. I shrug. <clears throat> I have it written down handwriting, so it's been a while. Um, yeah. Going forward. Yeah, so just to let you know about that little addendum there. A little more into Valinar's backstory. He's been a terrorist among his people for some time and has been in prison and on the run and all that. Um, because of a of some legend of a man with glowing eyes that apparently has the ability to see past deceit, magical or non-magical, and can even see through all illusions. Now, as as to why uh, the the powers that be on Valinar's island want him dead, we don't know that one yet. The bitch, specifically. Uh, yeah, specifically, yeah. Palama. <laughs> and then, the big question. Xenos asks, where can we get some dope-ass weapons? <laughs> so, apparently there are several vaults of Kine, the god of war, around uh, the world, but we cannot be given the details as to where they're located. But if we simply find because, them, simply we can have some pretty quite powerful weapons. One, uh, yeah, getting in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but after all these different questions and answers were brought about, um, finally the the Titan Korath approached Katya. And was willing to cooperate. Um, as a result, she essentially stuck out her uh, alien-esque tongue. Gave you a hickey. Uh, however, however you, you describe that. And um, essentially bit into the side of Katya's neck. We're going to say this is what gave her gills. Because that's part of the pact of... Uh, the unfathomable, unfathomable one. So Katya is now part fish. And I do believe that covers everything. Let me see if I can find that information about Nock. Very well done. Take your point of inspiration. Already have it. I do not. Uh, well, it doesn't help. Okay, I can't search for knock specifically because D knock comes up as part of those results, <laughs> and there's too many. There are uh, 867 results to show. We can't show them all. In in okay, it generates D knock. What if you capitalize? Yes. It in? There we go. Put a space before it. <laughs> That'll do, donkey. Just got to know how to beat the search algorithms. Ah, here we go. What session was this? This is session 103. Right. A divinely forged object or weapon blessed by Nock, the god of trickery, to overwhelm senses can be used to fight the Sleeping King directly. Oh, you must have and that was... information from on. Yes. It was on. 
Yep, that's exactly what happened. On gave us that information first. No, that that wasn't that long ago. Only about twenty five sessions. <laughs> Okay. So now we have it uh, confirmed. Two gods have said it, therefore it must be true. Technically, one has said it. All right. <clears throat> so, is there anything else that you guys would like to inquire about today? Is there anything that you can give us personally at this time that might be able to aid us in our quest? I mean, information is... You, you've given us a lot of information that's already exceptionally helpful. But there's something more. I do have... A boon that I'd like to bestow upon. However, oh, however, this is something better done. Or private. Mm. Not that I don't trust any here. Just it will be much more effective. If wait in chamber at that personal meeting with the goddess one on one, you could look at it. I can't turn that down. There's nothing else. Then what I then I suggest we begin to head back. As she kind of gestures to the wall where you guys originally emerged from, uh, you watch as the stone begins to kind of almost fall away again, leading back into the end of the uh, town hall that you guys originally uh, or that she originally led you guys from. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We have a lot of papers. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> a lot of papers and a smaller desk, so... <clears throat> Might need a folder. I have three of them in front of me. <gasps> Ooh, three folders. Oh no, it's like a dossier for each of our characters. There's more than three <laughs> characters here, buddy. Um, well, I can't count. So you guys <laughs> move... <laughs> uh, move back to this room. Which I'm making sure this works properly. Yes, it does. Cool. Ooh, shit, that's a big room. That's it better. That's a big room. Um, and you kind of ask just moving on is there anything within the uh, basement here you guys would like to peruse what is this red dot over here? Uh, investigation check. Investigation I. Let's Assistance. see. Assistance. Bingo. What was that, Enoch? I'm assisting. Oh, okay. So roll it again. Curious. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, the 19's better. Okay. <clears throat> um, 19? 
easy enough to uh, mm-hmm. tell what this is. Uh, this is a large uh, kind of like basin. Like it is a stone basin. And it's quite large. Like it's quite literally um, the, the mouth of it, like the cup is from the outside of it is all, probably four and a half, five feet, maybe maybe a little larger, give or take. Um, mm-hmm. And as you approach, it is filled, um, not to the brim, um, probably three quarters of the way with a uh, thick red liquid. Uh, and on further investigation, it is indeed blood. Oh. Oh. Well, no surprise why there's yeah, a basin you, of blood. Would you also get close to... Actually, you know what? Give me a moment. Fuck this. Let's not... Let's not just <laughs> theater... half Halfway theater of the mind. Let's... Um... Got tokens. Why did you not drag onto this? Because I am stubborn and don't wish to be dragged on... Okay, here I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm blind, uh, that's on me. Don't worry about that. Work on it. Um, His token cannot see. They should be able to see the map just fine. <laughs> oh, but his token... Not... Okay, motherfucker, listen. <laughs> <sighs> Man, he really got you today with that one. Yeah. Normally, you're just on him when he says anything snarky. Oh man, I am. <clears throat> I, I I don't speak any other language besides sarcasm. As a matter of fact, I should put it under my character's proficiencies. Like seriously, <laughs> can I do that? Um, probably. I don't. Language. Custom language. <gasps> Hold on, I'm, I got it. Hold on, I'm, I I I got. <sighs> Sorry, it was a little late. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> You can add it as a language. Sarcasm is now part of my repertoire. <laughs> oh boy. So here's a funny thing that I, I, I watched during a um uh uh I guess it's kinda of similar to what we're doing. Um they're going through Dungeon of the Mad Mage and one of the people there is um like a super sad fighter. Um so they uh because it was like a running gag for so long, they ended up getting proficiency um, in, or not, or I guess, I guess proficiency. They learned the language weeping. <laughs> okay. Do they have? Do they have a bunch of suppression abilities? No, they're a fighter. They're a dragon knight. They're a purple dragon knight fighter, which is unique. Ooh. Hmm. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Anyways, so as you guys are faintly hearing the sounds of the city above, of people trying to to rebuild, you guys approach this ba- base, um, or this vase, whatever you want to <clears throat> basin, and um, you knock, you approach it as well. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, what's going to happen? All of you suddenly hear kind of a familiar voice. Starts off as a laugh. Ah, shit. (laughs) How does it feel, D-Knock? Oh, that... There's an unspoken number of people who reside within the halls never be touched. <laughs> I'll just look, look at the pool, look back to the now clo- probably closed doorway, Look back to the pool, look back to the doorway, and be like, Son of a fucking bitch. We still ain't done with this, fucker! Is it... Was that supposed to be Torben's voice? Yes. Sorry, I, I wasn't clear. <sighs> That's why I made it... That's why I said the 
familiar. Yeah. Yeah. And I targeted Dnock. That was my other thing. <laughs> oh, I think I have a solution to this. Maybe. Give me a second to look through my spells. Oh. Oh. Um, I don't suppose you can use destroy water to also destroy blood. <laughs> I'll come back to you on that one. Uh, yeah. Valinar. Yeah. Because of your passive high perception, uh, your current location, um, you would see the kind of like the 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 shaft of the base uh, uh, of the kind of base in here that is holding it up when it was when they when Dinoc approached uh you watched as a small arcane uh glyph kind of formed and the stone underneath it kind of almost grew lips and you watched as it moved and talked and that's what caused uh the message to be displayed uh and then when the message was over it vanished as if nothing stone had happened so it basically appears like it was a pre-recorded message yes <laughs> guys i still think he's dead i think that message was pre-recorded cool i cast destroy water on it <laughs> um can you click the spell, the spell for me Bloop. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Go ahead and roll a Arcana check. Okay. Arcana. Boop. Oh, that's... I wanted that 17, you stupid die. Oh, well. Okay. Um, You destroy the water. <laughs> Sweet. Left in the bottom of the basin is the uh the rest of the components that make up the That'll teach him. I'm not hundred percent sure what that is, but it definitely has a stronger scent of iron in the room. Yeah. Copper, I guess. <laughs> Copper and iron. And various other things, so it's essentially just a coagulated mess of what used to be blood. Yeah. Now, I like to point out, there was no thought process to this. Katya just, just thrust out her hand and cast the spell without even realizing that she actually had it. Because she just gained it. <laughs> Um, I'm also going to point out, because I can't have them on, uh, on, I don't have them on the map, as they are doing this, uh, Blind Squared, so Asta and Xenos, um, you guys would actually notice a couple of things on the table here. On this table? Yep. Which is blank. <laughs> yes, I, I I know. I don't have. You know what? Here. <laughs> now there's stuff there. Perfect. Okay, what do I notice? Or I guess what do we notice? I think we uh, you would notice a uh, pair of leather armor and a ring. It's a wedding ring, no. <laughs> okay. Um Oh fuck. If Torben had a wife. Oh shit. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> I would say it is not a impossibility. Uh, well Yeah, that too. Um but I will say it is not a wedding, a wedding ring. 
It is um, kind of a simple ring with a uh, jade uh, gem kind of embedded in the center. Um, when Dinoch turns around to look at it, he would recognize it. And the armor. Oh. But then it depends on if you guys draw the, their attention to this stuff before you guys okay. investigate it. First, Dean knocks on the other side of the room. Exactly. So, would you guys draw his attention to it? Yeah, I'll be like, "Yo, Dean, <laughs> come over here." Hey, magic. You said boy. it was a jade, a jade stone. Yeah, a jade gem. Okay. Or a gemstone made of jade. <clears throat> All right. Draws your attention to it. Um, and a set of armor. Did you? Get, I, I was too busy paying attention to something else. What was the armor look like? Um, you know, upon glancing at them, you immediately recognize them. Uh, both of these things are items that Torben was wearing during the fight. <gasps> oh, okay. So the leather oh. armor is kind of like a Wait. black obsidian ish color. For some reason, I thought I had the ring because I or gave it to someone because I thought I ripped it off of him during the fight. Yeah, I think you did. Possibly. <laughs> Here it is now. It was a copy. This is DM magic bullshit go. <laughs> okay. Because I did, I forgot that you took it off of him in the fight. Did you take it off of him or did you sh destroy it? I can't remember. I thought I took it from him, like. I think you took it off, yeah. No, actually, I think I got it off him. I don't think I necessarily took it. I think I somehow like cut off his finger or something. Oh, so okay. I did. Well, I did some sort of trickery to get it off of him. I remember yeah, that. I think what we did. I think what we ended up ruling was is you got it off of him, um, but it was on the ground. I think is what we ended up ruling. Yes. That's what we'll go with, and then because everybody basically immediately, uh got surprised by Cyantia after the fight. Um, nobody technically booted the body or picked up the ring, but now it is here, along with a pair of... Well, because you uh, yeeted us out of that alternate dimension, and yeah. he wasn't around. Uh, yeah. Well, th there, are, there are some things. I don't remember if it's fine. Well, they're here now, like, so let's. I would have made sure to that. desecrate that body. <laughs> it's desecrated. You took his soul and shoved him in a crystal. <laughs> That's pretty desecrated to me. There's a whole lot more I can do. Well, why don't you take out your frustrations on that armor then and pretend it's him? We could even make you like like a dummy of straw if you really, really, really want to. Well, first, let's see what this is. Oh. Which one? Are, which one are you picking up first? Uh, definitely the armor because we saw the effects of the ring, or at least we think. <clears throat> right. Um. The armor, and I'm just gonna double. And check yes, my book. both both of these are going to be uh, ritual cast. All right, no worries. Because I am not wasting an, the level spell slot. <laughs> Um, let me double check something just very quickly. Um, just because I don't want to fuck up the room too badly. <laughs> nice chill. Wasn't he all? Wasn't he also wearing some kind of a necklace as well? Maybe. Yeah, I seem to remember during the fight, you mentioned there are three things of interest on him. A ring, an amulet, and the armor. Um, one, of, one of us was using like a inspection check to see what magic items he had on him so we could take him, see if we can disarm him. Mm -hmm. I will have to open up another tab. Give me a minute. I'm going to give Dinoch the, what the uh, leather armor. <clears throat> Okey-doke. Um... The leather armor 
is a uh is a set of plus one studded leather armor. Okay. Okay. Basic. I mean, yes, but he was very dexterous, so it was very beneficial for him. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Which is which? I turn to Asa and Xenos, and I'm like, one of you two could probably make best use of this. Probably Xenos. What the ring or the armor? Armor. Both of them could do so. Both of them are very dexterous. Yeah, but since is... Xenos is in the front lines, or tries to be, eh, I leave it up to you guys. Did you already say if the ring is like magical in any way? I've not like, gotten to the ring yet. Mm -hmm. The ring is okay. magical, but he has yet to identify. Um. Okay. Oh, there it is. Why did? Okay. Why? I don't know why I don't have properly. Oh, you know what? I'm using this is an outdated sheet. Scratch that on the uh -oh. armor. I don't know what happened to my updated one. I'm pulling, so I'm, I'm I have the sheet now. Uh, for my pull uh, pulled up, so uh, scratch that on the leather armor. Um, it is not a plus one. Um, it is a actually it is actually a plus two studded studded leather armor. Ooh. Um, that's yeah. I'm use I'm looking at the updated sheet now, and I'm like this because I was looking at the old one, and I'm like this sounds really so different than oh like that's <laughs> spicy. Some of the things. <clears throat> um. So yeah, there would also be um. A uh, like a pendant um, as well. Also. I knew it. So, I knew you, it. You were cor you were correct, and I was like, "Yeah, sounds correct." When you said it, I, it was just one of those things where I don't know why I couldn't, why I didn't have the right sheet, but I didn't. So now I do. Um, so studded leather plus two studded leather armor. Um, the ring is a ring of psychic resistance. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> And the pendant or necklace is a charm, and it is uh, specifically a dex charm. Um, what this would do is you would learn through the identify spell. Um, is it grants a plus two bonus to all dexterity checks? Wow! Not saving Eight. throws. Not saving throws. Checks. So okay. Acrobatics, sleight of hand, stealth. Yes, still. Et cetera, et cetera. Yep. Yeah. Both the ring and the charm require attunement. Okay, so you said that the ring is it resists psychic something? Psychic damage. Psychic damage. I don't okay. suppose I could convince anybody to allow me to have the psychic protection. I mean you would probably benefit from it more, I would assume. And then, what kind of armor was it again? Plus, Plus two, studded. two. Plus two. Yeah. So whatever. Studded so, leather. Ooh. Yeah. Studded leather. So whatever your dexterity is, plus I think fourteen. Um, I'd have to. I, I, I'm a fool and close to the tab that I was on. Um. Well, let me see here. So studded leather is is uh twelve plus dexterity modifier, so plus two would be a fourteen plus your dexterity modifier. So both yep. you and Xenos have um have uh maxed out dex dex, I believe. So if either one of you put this on, it would increase your armor class from whatever it is currently to a nineteen. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the same exact armor I already have. It should not be. Says that is leather, light armor, uh, Correct. AC 12. But is it a plus two? You have base oh. ass armor. It is not magical. <laughs> base it, ass. It gives, you an AC, <laughs> it gives you an AC of 17, which is 12 plus, uh, 12 plus 5 or your dex mod. This is magical armor that gives you 14 plus 5 or your dex modifier. <laughs> 
So it would give you an additional two to your armor class. But then again, how often are you specifically targeted over <clears throat> the rest of us? Shit. Sometimes it depends. I feel like I get targeted more than Asta. <laughs> Sometimes it just depends on how much damage she deals. Yeah. Hard, and I usually hide in the back, and that's where I kick its ass from. I try. I just somehow <laughs> always end up with ads spawning all around me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll be a, a good wife and probably let Blind have it because it'll probably benefit him more. Since he's pretty much uh, trying to be the frontliner. All right, so Xenos gets the armor. Um, I'll take the ring. Yeah. Fine. Like I said, it'll probably benefit you more than me anyway. Especially with your. Uh, and plus two to all <clears throat> dex checks. Val? Uh, oh, it doesn't require attunement. Sweet. Oh, the plus oh, yeah, there two, it is. Though. Never mind. I mean, if no one else wants it, I'll take it. I mean, that'll help whenever we're trying to be sneaky. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yes. What, what was the name of the item? Never uh, gave it. You, you won't find it. Uh, it's a charm of dex. Um, oh. I'm working on creating it right now, actually. Okay. Uh, Rip, Sweet. how do you, how do you add More bling for my fingers. Add it to uh, Xenos unless you want to do it. Um, so are you using D and D Beyond? Correct. So you'll go to <laughs> inventory. Yep, I hit add equipment. Is that correct? Yep, and what you'll look for is you'll want to do uh, plus two, um, studded leather. And you should find uh, plus two studded leather armor. Where does it say the plus? Because I don't see. I can add it to his equipment. Otherwise, I'll just have him do it. I'm sure he knows how to do it. Um, I am not a hundred percent sure if it will work properly because I have not, I do not have the ability to test it. Um, uh, Val Valnar, uh, but if you would like to go into the uh, magic items and find the charm of deck of uh, decks, I should have done clarity, but I was lazy. Um, you can attempt to add it to your. And you gave the armor to uh -huh. Xenos, correct? Mm-hmm. I'm... You said just under... Am I not under the right thing here? Oh. You said charm of dexterity, right? Charm of dex. Yeah. Charm of dex. I'm not even seeing it. You do have um, 
homebrew items enabled, don't you? Oh, let me... Under your character management screen? Yeah, I do have it enabled. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can't do it quick. Um, Asta, you may have to refresh Xenos' character sheet, but it should be on his sheet um, and equipped currently. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, science is just standing there watching us, like, take your time. <laughs> uh, no, she's gone. Wait, she's gone? Yeah, she's not there. Oh. Hmm. Okay, Valinar, you may need to re refresh your page, but I added it to your uh, character sheet. Okay. okay. I didn't know she left. Uh-oh. Okay, I, see, I see it. I will, we'll see what happens, because like I said, I don't have the ability to... I haven't tested it yet, so we'll keep... We'll play around with it until I can get it right. Yeah. But I'm not going to worry about it tonight. So. You'll just have to remember those bonuses um, if if they come up. So. Yeah. <clears throat> with that, you guys are left to your own devices. What would you like to do? Well, I could have sworn that Scientia was supposed to be meeting with us. Where did she go? You said she was going to meet with you guys one-on-one -on -one later. Oh. So but she didn't specify where. Okay. Nope. She did not. Okay. Well then. Um... Oh, what did I do? I pushed a button. Okay, we're good. Well, it would appear that the threat of Torben is over with. Dinoch, have you learned more about your grandpa? No. Then I guess the next question is, is there anything that we still have to achieve while we're here? I mean, we already cleared out the, the rest of the, pretty much the majority of the remaining undead. We freed the island, put it back in the hands of, the, of your people. Maybe we should be getting back to the Lapita. Well, excuse me, what was that? Okay, all right. Ding, ding, that was a ringtone. And it sounded a lot like my wife's. <laughs> but it wasn't on my end. Me. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> Instead of just leaving without a word. Maybe we should check in with Zalpip and tell him we're about to try to teleport. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Maybe I should uh, make a note about those rocks that were given to me by Elder Vale. Or that rock, specifically. That rock is to teleport back to the cave. Exactly. One rock from Hofkeen to return to the crystal chamber. There we go. I like to keep a very... Uh, descriptive detail of everything that I'm carrying in my backpack so I don't have to go digging for everything. If... Makes it a little bit easier for management, you know. Yep. Especially now that we carry so much stuff on us. It's 
Okay. Well, are we going to go see Zopit then? Well, if anyone has any objections. I don't have any objections. It makes sense to at least let everybody know that we're leaving it in their hands before we just go poof without a trace. And they think that we lost our lives to something else down here. Yes. Uh-oh, maybe time for a quick break? What is that? I'm guessing something from Rip's end, maybe. I suppose this is a kind of a silly question, but do we have anything specifically that we got from the Lapita? That I might be able to use as a teleportation focus. I don't think so. I have a floating but... teacup. <laughs> Very good. That's a great idea. That teacup belonged on the Lapita. <laughs> or at least close enough, so <laughs> I sure I just hope it doesn't teleport us to the cup's original location, because that might be very well. We just need to think. We just need to think about the uh, the guard. Oh, yeah, we, asso we associated with the Lapita, at the very least. If nothing else, I mean, there's always a possibility of a of uh, we'll end up somewhere close enough. See, on target, off target. If you're a random distance away from the destination in a random direction, distance of 1d10 by 1d10 percent of the distance that was to be traveled. Try to travel 120 miles, land a target. Is it working? Alright, we but, should be okay. Uh... Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, you might want to, you might need to try and roll, like, a dexterity check, like, uh, like, roll sleight of hand well, and see if it gets applied. Well, I mean, I was clicking to equip it, to attune it, and it brought all of my skills up by plus three. Oh. <laughs> like, there you go, that's what it does for my religion check. <laughs> Damn! Increased your religion, too. It increased everything by plus three. That is hmm. bizarre. Well, all, all my skills, I should say. Just accept it. Ooh, hey, we've got a, another blind. Hello. By the way, your mic is way up. We hear everything. Yeah, you guys are very Somebody's cool. washing dishes. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. That's what it is. Ha -ha. We hear it now. Only when you talk. A little bit less, but we still hear it, but that's fine. As long as you... Tune to this charm. The user gains a plus two to all dex checks. Yep. It popped up in my... It, it popped up so I could... Can uh, add it to my inventory if I wanted to, but I, I might just do it just to uh, check it and see if I can find a workaround for you. 
Well, I was looking to see if I could do any customization on my end, but I, I doubt we're going to use decks tonight, or at least for the moment, so I'm just going to leave it unattuned for now. So it doesn't mess uh, with think, the rest of my... I think, I, I, think yeah. I might have a way of fixing it. Um, turn that off. <coughs> Ow. Um, okay, yeah, so what are you guys doing? Waiting for you. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Take us to Zalpip. Okay. Uh, you're there. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are now uh, back with a Zalpip. Uh, he would probably be um he would probably be um near where his old lab uh used to be. Um it would take you guys a little bit of time to find him, but I would say you guys would probably find him near his old lab. Uh and you can kind of see him kind of just kicking around old par parts of the um now rubble of what was his lab once. Well, how bad's the damage? I'm pretty sure. But, <clears throat> we can rebuild. Well, was just coming by to say that We've, we'll probably be leaving soon. Kind of nods his head. Not even going to stick around, stick around for very long, huh? Don't have much time. We've got... Above game, how long? <laughs> Four months? Hey, uh, Rip? What? Did you find a solution to that charm? I may have. I'm about to check on it, so give me a minute. I fixed it. It works. How did you fix Oh, you were messing with it in, um, on your mm -hmm. sheet. Well, I want to be able, I want it to work by adding it to the sheet, not with a roundabout method. Uh, no, not a roundabout. I went to... Remember, I logged into your thing. I went to your homebrew thing and fixed it. Oh, so you... After I changed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but what did you do? Because I might have done the same thing. And to answer your question, Dinoc, I have to find the post, because I... Okay, so... So you had a set to... Uh... Wait, when you were, hang on, let me look at it again. So under the modifiers, it said, it said bonus to ability checks. I changed it to bonus to dexterity ability checks specifically. And that, that seems to be what it required. I did that again as well just now. Um, okay. I, I should be a DM. <laughs> Boy, howdy, I got a job for you then. Um, oh. <laughs> where did this go? Oh, there it is. Okay, um... Anyways. Uh, four point... Four and a half to five months. Um, is what you got remaining. Mm hmm We have a little less than five months before... Everything goes to shit. Currently, Hofkeen has a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. But 
we still have the other three islands to go. Have not touched either Cartier's or Valinar's. Right. You know, Valinar, go ahead and refresh your page. You should be good to go. Yep. Yep, looks like I'm good now. It it actually kicked me out of the page and made me reload it, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's well, no, it's so, probably because it's probably because yeah. I deleted the item out of his inventory. Ah, okay. Yeah. Told me something about Tiefling stealing something. <laughs> or something to that effect. <laughs> yeah, that so, <laughs> me. yeah. <laughs> nice. That's funny. Anyway. Oh, man. Great. So we were planning to get started. And I figured it would be best to say farewell while we still have the chance and we're not being Magically pulled against our own will. Again. Yeah, I think once was enough. <laughs> Technically, Katya wasn't alive for the second magic pull, so... <laughs> <laughs> We have a lot of work to do, and it feels like not enough time to do it all in. But hopefully we with what we just finished, we'll have a tiny bit more time. I have to step away for... If you guys wish to roleplay amongst you, I know Zalpip is in this. I need to step away from the testament. I will be right back. Either that or we can go to an early break. Take a vote right now. Three. Uh, two, early two. break. Okay. Uh, you don't want me to be a Zalpip? I don't know. Hell no. Things behind the scenes. Nope. All right, guys. Very Realty not nice, cry, sunny boy. Um, we'll be back in just a little bit. Um, BRB. Right, everyone. We have returned. Yeah. How was how was everybody's break? Quick and painless. So have a D knock. Oh snap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's still there. Huh? Oh, he's there. Alrighty. Good morning. All right. So we have a lot of work to do. Yes, I can see that. Is there anything we can do to help before seeing you guys off? Hmm. How are our ration supplies looking, y'all? Shouldn't be too bad. Really shouldn't be. Most of the time, you guys are either being dead or you guys are hunting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got about a couple yeah. weeks worth of good rations. Yeah, I got about a week's worth, but if worse comes to worse, I always have a spe handy spell called Create Food and Water. <laughs> mm hmm. That's where then a I lot of stuff we're is set. coming from. Right. So I suppose honestly, we're set on that. We just get a lot of salt and pepper and just season the food so it's actually worth something. Oh no, I, I carry some herbs around for that, remember? Yeah, but not salt and pepper. 
No, but roots and herbs. That's what we need. <laughs> but salt and pepper. And they're technically exotic roots and herbs because they came from the surface, which up until a few months ago didn't even exist. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I don't think there's really a whole lot that we need at this point. Other than... I suppose I... the most pressing concern would be a teleportation circle. <gasps> right. And when you yeah. get the runes down... Send us a message. Oh, take some create. Put some mages on. I know a few guys. I think. I think we get. If not, then once, every once in a while, Valinar, do you mind checking in? Um, no, not, not really, no. Especially if we're on the Laputa, we're not going to do, be doing much fighting. Hopefully. Hopefully. I mean, it was only a week the last time before somebody was murdered. Hopefully we don't have that problem again. Oh. Hopefully. <clears throat> well, the most I can offer you then in that case, would you guys like to stay one more night and have a banquet tonight? Mm. One more night shouldn't hurt. That'll at least give you time to say goodbye to all of your loved ones. I'm still really tired. <laughs> I still have one level of exhaustion. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. After all, a banquet would be delightful. Food is always welcome. Assuming Torben didn't destroy all the good food. No blood, sir. The fool still liked and enjoyed. The occasional meal. Hmm. Now, what time is it during the day? I'm going to say it's like 2 o'clock. Ah, yes. Definitely set out in the morning. But tonight, we celebrate our victory. Properly. Oh, uh, Dinoc, do we think we should inform them that, uh, about the Harmony Stone? Hmm. Maybe just what's left of the council. It's not advertised such thing. Fair enough. Especially with what's there now. Would you like me to put together a meeting, then? That would be appreciated. Okay. I will do this. You guys in a... Like to do the meeting, then dinner, and then leave the following morning? Eating in the hmm. Maybe the meeting well, in the morning. Leave as... I was yeah. thinking I'd rather leave as soon as possible. We also have a little more vested interest in. 
leaving is always a good good plan. I do admit so I meet- still want to at least sleep. <laughs> so meeting tonight then. Yes. Okay. Do everything I will try today to and then Yeah. I'll try to get everybody together for the town hall meeting. They love some Hall for now, if things I'll let you know. Um, two hours sounds good for me. Give me some time to adjust to our new findings. Kind of off then goes to the up all meeting for a banquet. I guess now. Turning to Katya, we had best go over everything that happened to you. What what about it? We don't want any unforeseen instances. Like, well, you now have something there on your neck. Oh, I meant to do something about that. Hang on. And Katya would just kind of snap her fingers and magically those that something on her neck is now not visible. We'll just uh, keep that disguised as though nothing happened. I wish you would have said something sooner. I feel like Zolpip was giving me some weird stares every time I opened my mouth. Well, you did have interesting things going on in that mouth. Oh. You've got fangs. Uh, oh. I wasn't aware of that. <laughs> I, I knew about the lines on my neck. I wasn't... I didn't know there were fangs. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to do any damage with a bite, but just... Your teeth are a little sharper. And hmm. Zalpip is quite observant. I hope he doesn't think that I've been va- vamp- turned into a vampire. Well, the fact that we're with you, specifically, I'm here, and I have a vested interest in disposing Vampire. Fair enough. Fair enough. But yes, you... <clears throat> also, those lines, what are they? Well, at first, I thought it might have been a bite mark from Korath herself, but I realized they're not... Exactly. They don't feel like bite marks. And they're not circular either. More like lines. Do you mind if Valinor and I take a look? Uh, Medically. As as long as it's not out here where everybody can see. Of course. We will head back to a more private room in the fortress. Yes, let's let's we do, do that. Make make sure I'm not diseased or anything. I mean, I after all, I got bit by a kraken. I don't. <sighs> was it a bite or was it a lick? Because wasn't that a weird, just a weird tongue? It felt like a bite, and I didn't really have. A moment to react because it happened so fast. Well, anyways, shall we? Yes, yes, let's go. So we head back to the fortress. Rip. 
Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm muting and I'm coughing. Okay, just um, making sure okay. we're heading to the fortress. Okay. Um, it uh, it doesn't take you guys terribly long to get there. Um, and you guys get there without issue. All right. Found ourselves a nice, quieter room. Yes. Um, and for the sake of this exam, I'm just going to have to drop any kind of illusion I have on myself. So, <clears throat> forgive anything that you might see. Nothing I haven't okay. seen before. I just don't feel comfortable showing my masculine side anymore. I wish this would go away. So what do they see? Take, take a look. Ah. So on the sides of Katya's neck are, um, I guess, either three or four uh, oh, hold on. horizontal. Let's scroll mm -hmm. medicine check. Yes. Question. Since I'm exhausted, do I roll with disadvantage? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 14. Have either one of you guys ever been fit? Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, do knock Valinar. Either of you guys been fishing? <laughs> Ye. Yeah. May maybe. <laughs> Fair enough. It's easy. I probably would have at uh, least seen a fish. <laughs> they, they are gill, or at the very least, they look like. Not like. Well. Um. Katia? Varnas yeah. gonna put his hand on Katia's shoulder. Congratulations. I think you're part fish. Now that statement just seems fishy. So, so what is you the exactly... of your neck? You're joking. I have gills? They look to be gills. We won't know for sure unless we put you in a tub of water and see if you can breathe underwater. Sounds risky. But do you think we could try? A chance to hold Katia underwater to see if he can breathe underwater and possibly drown? <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> I don't know why you would ever want to drown me. Well, <clears throat> guys, draw a tub of water. Well, also, we need to check all the other things that's changed if there's any physical. While above game, I now have a swim speed, so I would imagine there's a development of webbing. It doesn't have to be. It's a fantasy world. I mean. What do you want that swim? Well, better than having a mermaid tail. Oh. Doesn't have to <laughs> anything. It could just be. Oh, I see. Water now. Perhaps, perhaps uh, there, there is no physical appearance as of yet. But if I were to be actual, actually be swimming, uh, I imagine tentacles might sprout from my legs and arms that would push me along. So that's something they may learn or submerged. Okay. Even Katya might not know. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Upon further inspection of the body, there doesn't appear to be any other abnor abnormalities. Does anybody oh. have create water? Okay. Yes. Use it on yourself. 
I mean, I used destroy water earlier to uh, get back at a pool of blood that Torben had around. <laughs> I think that's before you showed up. You guys couldn't go to the, like a tub and cast the container. Fair. It. <laughs> But why do that when you can just draw up water like normal? Because if I go to cast it now, we might blow up the tub. <laughs> Depends on what spell slot you use. Well, I only have one uh, pack slot. The rest is source becomes sorcerer slots, and I don't want to blow up the tub. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, we somehow fill <laughs> you fill a water into water. a tub. It, it's easy yeah. enough. You guys, if you guys can't do that, then we should quit playing D and D. You don't we're, need we're magic. So I mean, how do these guys. people bathe? <laughs> and then we have Katya dip underneath. Yeah. Okay. Um. As Katya is underwater for a, a moment, you guys don't really see anything right away. <clears throat> and Katya, you instinctually hold your breath. Of course. As you are plunged underwater. That's some intense music. <laughs> and there's... Have you ever... been underwater where you will struggle to maintain holding your breath? Well, I could tell you as a kid, uh, I had this... Uh, I've, I've... I mean, I've tried uh, with the concept of breathing underwater. What kid doesn't, right? Your lung. Eventually, you get to a point where your lungs are burning. And you're looking for a way to escape. But, due to your friends holding you down... There's nowhere for you to go. And eventually you... And I'm thinking at this point, we probably should have had some kind of a safety word so that if <laughs> if this doesn't work out, I could be like, help, don't, no, let me go. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a cleric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You're literally just going to hold me there until I pass out or die? Thanks. You got better. <clears throat> and eventually the bubbles from your lungs. And as you have no other choice but to inhale water, you drawing in even some of the water into your body. And then you breathe. Again. Whoa. Underwater. Except except I say whoa underwater and there it's might be like, another whoa, whoa, whoa. just your bloop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And at this point, you guys can see now the gills on the side of the neck kind of flaring to life as he breathes. And also would um kind of along his um like the exterior parts of his arms and legs, uh, you see like faintly translucent uh, octopi legs. And they 
gently float and move in kind of like a downward direction as if a like as if an octopus was pushing downward uh to jettison a <clears throat> Lieutenant Dan, you ain't got no normal legs. You okay. No legs. Now here's a question for DM. Yes, I can breathe underwater, but can I hear what they're saying while my head is underwater? I mean, it's very muffled. You're underwater, and they are mm -hmm. not. Right. Sound is dispersed through water pretty rapidly. But it's also yeah. not that much water. Correct. I can, I can also tell you from experience, if my wife is having a conversation with me and my head is underwater in the bathtub, I can understand her. So... I don't want to know what experience you're having, but I think that's one that you need to keep, at the very least, between <laughs> you and your wife. That's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. Uh -huh. If I'm having, if, I, if I'm done with work and I come home and I'm taking a bath, you know, put my head underwater, I'm just resting there, you know, just soaking it in, enjoying the fact that, ah, what a nice, relaxing bath I'm having. My wife's staying in the room. She's talking to me. How's your day going? And blah, blah, blah. Tell me things that went on at work. You know, I can I can still understand her, so it's it's a shallow tub of water. So I suppose I would be able to understand them just from experience. Okay. Yeah, now I'll the question is the question is, would they loosen their grip enough that I could pull my head out and take a look, or am I just gonna stay stay there like uh guys? Valinar, you're the strongest one of the group. What would you do? I all of a sudden saw him. Um, I feel like I, I would all of a sudden see that. I'd probably just let go. <laughs> More just kind of out of shock than anything. Especially when one of the one of those tentacles tickles your leg. Uh, do, mm. <laughs> what being thought it was a good idea to give him tentacles? Why? Why is Valinor in the tub with you all of a sudden? <laughs> No, I, 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 I imagine I was being dunked over the side of the tub. Like they're, they're pushing. That's they're, what I was imagining. They're pushing my head under, and the rest I, of me is just kind of like out. He, like he got in the tub, and I was just kind of holding him down. Oh, see, my brain went the other way. I, I imagined he was fully submerged, submerged. Yeah. And you guys were just. I, I thought him I was standing him. over the side of the tub, and you're like, "All right," and you go, "Poosh." <laughs> okay, all right, two different things. My bad. It happens. Um. So, yeah, I guess one would kind of just raise his leg as to, like, what the, and then way. And at that point, I break free and just kind of come up. It's like, okay, so what did we learn? Well, one, as you start you breathing now... air again, your visage uh, returns back to normal. Hmm. Well, one. We believe you have the worst uh, transformation for you. You've got tentacles when you're underwater. Yeah. Oh, and that's I'm fun. I'm going to be writing a very strongly worded letter. Seriously, what the fuck? Who are you writing the letter to? I, I, I thought you were going to finish the statement. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, just... Specifically a what-the-fuck letter. Yeah. Well... I learned that I can breathe underwater, apparently. Courtesy of uh, these gills. Um, what about the rest of me? I mean, Valinar freak seems to have freaked out and backed away. What happened? Well, like we said, you have tentacles uh, uh, where your oh, legs yeah. are supposed to be. They're tentacles. <laughs> Remember way back when when we had that tentacle rod and you worked so hard to get it away from me? Yes. <laughs> I think I've become one with a tentacle rod. Damn it. 
<laughs> so uh um, full circle. I suppose that's what I get for uh making a pact with a kraken. Makes perfect sense, I suppose. Closest thing this game has to Cthulhu. <laughs> as I smile it, at my notes. Sits there and thinks, that we're aware of. Oh god, what's going to happen in the end game? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now that we've uh, experimented with that, uh, and Katya throws back on her, her alter self, I'll just have to take extra care to make sure that my outward appearance is a little more inconspicuous. Less gills than tentacles. Just hope nobody throws me in water, and uh, we should be good. Um, ran random thought real quick. Falonar, not saying a word, is just going to get some water and just throw it on Katia to see what happens. Uh, <sighs> um... Real quick, back up in time for just a half a second. Did you did you use alter self or disguise self? I have alter self as an at will. Right. Is that what you used? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh he 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 gets wet. Okay. Cool. She gets wet situation. She gets wet. Cool. Wow, thanks. Nothing else really. I just wanted to make sure that water falling on you is not gonna make you randomly transform or something. Yes, changing in a light shower of rain would be rather. Yeah. Rough. Just occurred to me us. at any point that I've had Alter Self, I could have given myself aquatic adaptation uh-huh. for free. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> the DM is just giggling to himself as now it's a permanent thing. thing. Well, at least I don't have to concentrate on it. I suppose that's helpful. Alright. So you guys you guys have several hours out hall. Several hours? It should have only been a couple. Is there anything you guys would like to do while you guys um... attune to my new equipment? Um, uh, Valinar wants to use scrying, or not scrying, sorry, sending to con to contact um, Shia, and essentially try to figure out what's going on right now on the island. Okay, and what about you, D? Probably <clears throat> probably um talk to my parents and Boblin, tell them, you know, hey, come tomorrow morning, we're gonna be dipping. Okay. Uh is Asta anything you guys would like to be doing? Um, I mean, we're sort of just chilling until we leave, I think. Um, excuse me, because we just finished holding, um, Katia or not Katia, um, yeah, Katia down. Wait, you were there for that? You were there for that? Sure. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> you were probably in another room. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Okay. For the sake of this moment, then. 
I'm going to say that you guys kind of divide off, kind of go your separate ways for a little bit. Um, you kind of get through what you are attempting to do before the town hall meeting, the banquet, setting off the, for the next leg of your guys' journey. <clears throat> Dinoc, your parents and your brother are extremely sad to see you go, but are very understanding that this is something that you have to do. They are glad that you are staying another night, at the very least. It gives them some time to celebrate both your accomplishments and send you off in the Alakavik style. Is there anything in particular that you would like to say to them? Mm, nothing major, just... Okay. okay. <clears throat> As your conversation with them begins to wind down, you catch kind of out of the corner of your eye, um, Shashat kind of smiles and be like, Dinoc, is it okay if I have a moment of your time? Who? Dinoc stands. Of course. We'll head uh, uh, somewhere Question, what, 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 What's my family's reaction to... They don't know who the fuck she is. They just think it's some, <laughs> some girl. Oh, uh, your your mom would probably be like, um, honey, who is this? I turn to the shot. Do you mind if I? I mean, mm -hmm. she like seems hesitant. Go ahead and roll an insight check for me. Nine. <laughs> You notice that she hesitates and then kind of goes, I, I suppose. Dinoc will turn to his family. She is a priestess of Seshat who has probably sent her a message about our future journey. Hmm. And that's probably going to be a deception roll. <laughs> uh, I no, I think your parents would believe whatever you told them. I don't think they believe that you'd be lying to them with everything going on currently. Mm -hmm. So head into the other room with. Yeah, I'm going to say just for the sake of ease, you guys go to a. Separate room. Um, we're gonna pause you there, Valinar. Yeah. You send a message off to. Oh, hold on one sec. Da na na na. What do we want to do? Okay. You, okay. Send, you send a message to your friend um, back home. Um, yep. You're asking about what is going on currently. Is there any... Yes. Uh, any particular information you would like to send along or ask? Or, or just kind of general information looking at this? Um, I would say probably the most important things going on right now. 
okay. we'll ask for the most important things going on right now. Let me. That's actually really good. <clears throat> she would mention. Oh, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah. <clears throat> Black God has been more active lately. The knights have Whoa. been vigilant around the cities, still looking for. Of course. And my Dale is restless. Not awake, but restless. Uh, I'm going to say that's 25 words because I forgot to count. Um, okay, that's fine. You would also know, uh, without needing to make any kind of history check or anything like that, <clears throat> that the the Black Guard, even though it sounds like a positive thing, is actually kind of a negative thing. They uh, are a group of thugs that kind of <laughs> that kind of patrol the the main pathway between um uh, right. Oh, there it is. Um between um uh Catullus and Vagrim. They they kind of operate kind of out of that forest at times, but because the the main road um, that travels between those two cities, um, they tend to work that that road um, as kind of like uh, kind of like thugs holding people up for money, items, food, etc. Okay. Great. <clears throat> As you kind of get that message back, you hear a gentle knock at your door. The hmm? kind of standing, uh, I mean, assuming your door's open. The yep. Cyantia. Oh. You have a moment, Valinor. E yeah. Fantastic. I'm going to pause you there. Okay. <clears throat> Katya. Yes. As you sit in your room, kind of focusing on your new magic item, um, do you sit on your bed on the floor? Where are you sitting? I figured I was sitting in like, in like a corner of the room, facing me where I can see the door. Mm -hmm. um, initially, I was going to... Uh, attuned to this item, and if I had any extra time, um, make some notes about my earlier uh, experiences with the water. Okay. And see if there's any other hidden abilities that I now have gained thanks to Korath. Okay. As your mind weans in and out of concentration on the item and back to this new pact that you have experienced. You close your eyes at one point and you see, when you reopen them, you see Lyantia. One moment. You see Cyantia kind of standing near your door and 
we talk for a little bit, I see that you're restless. Uh, any any time, anything that you need. Fantastic. <clears throat> I'll be back to you in a minute. Dinos. Or Asta, whichever one is fine. Whoever's closer to the mic. Yes. Okay. You are kind of off relaxing for a little bit. And as you look around for a moment, you see uh, Scientia approaching. She continues to approach until she is within appropriate talking range. Because you have a minute where we could talk kind of in private. She kind of looks around a little bit. For for you for of of course I would have a minute for one of you, your Fantastic. esteem. Fantastic. Again, for the sake of ease, I'm going to say that you return to your room, um, or wherever. <clears throat> Asta, as you are. Fiddling around with your bow, making sure that it is finely tuned to you. hear a voice. That is a finely crafted bow. And I've seen you wield it very skillfully. What? That was for Asta. <laughs> You'll have to speak louder. Oh, uh, she said that she does. She recognized the voice. She would. It is uh, Scientia as she kind of looks over her shoulder. Yes. You have yes. A yes, I have a moment. <clears throat> As all of you have a nearly simultaneous moment the god of knowledge she asks all of you almost in a unison like way as if we were to cut away from each individual room and have every scene kind of stood up next to one another on a camera for the audience's sake here <laughs> you would see each of our heroes in a room talking to Scientia. And almost in unison, you would, he would see Scientia ask. <clears throat> if you could make a wish for a boon that would aid you in your venture forth, what would you ask that wish to be? And for the sake of this, I'm going to have you guys roll initiative to determine who goes first. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. I may be going uh, oh, oh, no. Valinar, <laughs> Val Valinar, I don't know if it would, if it uh, takes it into consideration, but uh, technically speaking, initiative is a dexterity check. Um, oh, so. Neat. I don't know if that will be applied to it because, like I said, it, initiative is a weird thing and not everything was, is applied the way they need to. Okay, so... I so technically have a mod just, 20. It it was not, so that would technically be a 20 with that. Okay. Bonus. So, Valinar, what is your dex modifier? 
Uh, oh, sorry, your deck score. My deck score is 12. <laughs> so it's mine. <laughs> plus, uh, plus, uh, plus one. Uh, so okay, I got a way to solve this. High or low? Low. <laughs> Does it get any lower than that? Well, there you go. So, uh, we're setting a boss list D&D Beyond sheet. How do you show the rolls from D&D Beyond onto Roll20 again? You're doing what? You need the application, or the uh, plugin. Yeah, I have the plugin. I'm using it for my character. Then, if you roll as her, it should come up? You're an Asta sheet? I have Asta sheet, yeah. That's what you're trying to roll off of. Yeah, on D&D Beyond. And it's not letting you go... Not letting you roll it? You should be able to just click initiative. Have it roll the die. Yeah, I, I rolled it, but it's not showing it in our chat. Okay, this may be something we can do... Yeah, that's, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Just tell me what the number is. I'll take your word for it. Um, it was a 25. Whew! Yeah, that sounds about right. That's a natural 20, isn't it? Yeah. Well, damn. All right. is like, I know what I want right here, right now. Well, I <laughs> hope she I hope she does, because uh, she's going to be first. <laughs> um, I guess I don't really need this. Um, because we're going for order. Here. Now let me remind myself what my wish was. I need to figure out how to phrase my wish. I think I know how. So, Asta. How would you respond to Scientia? Uh, she's thinking. <laughs> um, she doesn't know necessarily what all there is that she could, what she could do. <laughs> we could, could she, uh, wave her turn to go last? Sure. We can do that. Thank you. Uh, give me one second. <clears throat> so the next would be Katya, Valinar, Xenos. So, Katya, how would you respond to Scientia's question? So, when you say wish, as in I can, I could wish for anything. She nods. There are some even if it's to my power, I can. Do a lot. Even if it's not for myself, per se? Again, it is possible. Hmm. Hmm. Well, my first thought would be to make a request on behalf of one of my friends. But... Hmm. I think what might help if if my wish really is to help my allies, then I think I need to help myself first. And what I really wish is 
I mean, I spent this my whole adventure here trying to find a way to better control my own magic. And it seems like every time I get close to an answer, there is none. And now I think I know why it's such a mess. You know, everything that I've learned about the origins of my magic, I have demonic blood flowing through my veins, and that's counterproductive to our ultimate goal of slaying demons and all, the, and all demon kind. I think I'd wish to keep that power, but I don't want the, the chaos that comes with it. But I wish I could have control, uh, maybe a harmony or balance, some way that I can use my magic and not have to worry about hurting my friends in the process. So I guess what I really wish for is... A better way to use my magic that's not going to hurt myself or others, just my intended targets. Hmm. The wish is challenging, but possible. You're going to watch as she holds her hand up and a brilliant white light begins glowing. And your body experiences a massive amount of pain. And yet pleasure Ooh. at the same time. Ooh. I'm going to roll a d20. <clears throat> For a wish like this, you need you need the god of knowledge. Oh yeah. To roll on the die. Let's say it's above a seven. Just to be safe. Can I throw a final? Uh... No. <laughs> Damn it! No ties of chaos gonna help no. me here. No bending luck. Okay. Nice Flat try, roll. but <laughs> oh, that's cocked. You're lucky because it was cocked on a three. Ooh. Ooh. The roll has been made. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I need a crap piece of quick. My side keeps twitching. <laughs> I'm feeling that, that light that's flooding over me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um... I hate to do this, but I am going mm -hmm. to take a very quick break. Um, I'm literally going to run upstairs and then come right back down. So if you guys would, okay. talk amongst yourselves run. for a little bit, okay? I'll be right okay. back. <laughs> it might be the pain or the pleasure causing me to hallucinate, but I'm pretty sure Scienti just pulled some kind of a spherical object out of, her, out of nowhere and threw it on the ground. <laughs> Definitely the <those> station. <clears throat> and my notes are stuck mid sentence with and then she tells me that uh, I'm still waiting I'm waiting a result, so you know. <laughs> my yeah, exactly. my whole life hangs in the balance because if if my wish is granted, the DM could be a complete dick and be like, Okay, yeah, you no longer have this blood in your veins. You also no longer exist because uh, wild magic was never invented. <laughs> Which would be my kind of luck. <laughs> uh. oh, I, I am curious to know what it is he's going to grab, if it's even related to this situation. It's, it's, there's so much... 
so much, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm on the edge of my seat. It's suspenseful. I want to know. <laughs> I'm also excited to find out what everybody else is wishing for. Well, if it wasn't for the fact that we need the Platinum Dragon skill, you know what my wish 100% would be. <laughs> Don't believe that uh, I may or may not have already tried the final workaround to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> initially, when he messaged me about this, I was like, um, can I make a, a wish for someone else? <laughs> Just... Hey, can I can I just pull that that platinum dragon here? Well, maybe not that. Oh god, that would be horrible. <laughs> Wish press scale. <laughs> you know, I did not even think about that. Like <laughs> just switch for the scale. <laughs> 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 It's like, I wish the dragon were here. Why would you do that when you could just wish for his scale to be here? Good point. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. Oh, dear. <laughs> I think Dinoc may have just changed his wish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing there's going to be things preventing anything like wishing to pull a platinum dragon scale just to me. <laughs> I wish I already had one in my bag. <laughs> then technically, technically, it's as though history were rewritten so that you always had a platinum dragon skill. You just didn't know where to find it yet. That's not how that works, but good thinking. It was in the bag of holding all along. Yeah. Surprise. We never thought to check the damn thing before we started shoving things in it. So. Okay. White light floods your body. Yes. We're gonna pause you there. Ah! Okay. Do you know how you want to phrase yours? Um, I think so. Okay. Then how do you respond to the God of Knowledge? I, I feel as though my, my powers are, aren't what I want them. I feel like. I feel like uh, I want something in between the light and the dark. Ooh. Like, I want the light between day and night. Twilight? Yeah. I, I wish for the powers of the twilight. Ooh. Scientia kind of once again responds with that is a challenge. Go ahead. But it is not impossible. You have my brother's favor. For that he may be leaning. Let it go away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, one minute. Now go away. Well, he's, he has been in, he has been in bed since eight thirty, and he has yet to go to sleep. And well, he needs to go back to that why. bed because yes. this is the important part. Damn it! I'm, well, <laughs> fuck off, their kids. I know. Um, Just drug him up <laughs> enough. He'll go to sleep quick enough. I, uh huh. Um, <laughs> I, so yeah. So maybe you will grant me that. Let's find out. And similar to Katia, you have that blinding white light experience. And you. You too are racked with a searing 
hot. But yet with a sense of pleasure. One that you're not familiar with. She's going to make a roll. In a minute, you can. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wait out for right now. <clears throat> and as that light overtakes you, we will return to you in a minute. <laughs> uh that was Valinar. That brings us to um Z Zeno. Looks like Zenos. <laughs> Zenos. How would you respond to yes. the god of knowledge? Well, Zenos has been thinking. <laughs> because he has had some time to think. And Okay, I wrote that down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um I think the Cause like he's considered a lot of stuff in just the short time that he's known about this, and essentially he would wish for more um. The ability to either concentrate on more spells or more spell slots, or both. <laughs> um, that sounds like you want to be a full caster. Not necessarily a full caster, but like. <laughs> Because, um, like, if he was to concentrate on, say, two spells at once, that would use both of his spell slots. So maybe having something that is, like, either something that would let him concentrate on two spells, or something that would give him, like, an item or a, um... Okay. Something that would give him, like, extra spell slots as well. But okay. he mostly wants to be able to concentrate on multiple things at a time. Okay. Ooh. Free Warcaster. And you nod in an understanding way. You'll watch her as she raises her hand and brilliant light, white light envelops you. And there's an odd sensation. For you, it's less pain or pleasure. Being partially undead probably has something to do with it. We're going to pause you there. We'll return to you. Okay. <clears throat> Enoch. Mm. Big How time. you... Respond to the goddess knowledge as she asked you the question. What would you wish for? There are plenty of things that I would wish for. Many of them. Unrealistic wishes. Sometimes, I think.
To have never been chosen as a Shinigami. To never have been part of destiny. But such things are idle fantasies. Things probably not even your father could change. Correct? Some things. Probably not. The things that would be more realistic in this situation. I suppose the Platinum Dragon and his scales are protected from even your grasp. If I was to wish for a scale... If I was to wish for a scale to land in my hand here and now... I doubt that would work, correct? I, but the Platinum Dragon is the creation of my father's madness. I would be, I would be pulling against him. Not impossible. <laughs> But then is it within your power to repair the Laputa and bring it Ooh. and the current crew here to Hofki? Yes. Then for now, that shall be my wish. Many of the things that I must do to rescue my wife are things that are doable. In the immediate, the fortress and... Preparing to finish our journey on both Valinar's island and Katya's island would be in the more immediate concern. If I was to waste a wish selfishly just for her, Borgok, as I've said before, would kick my ass from here to beyond and back. <laughs> she smiles and gives you a as a reminder, I cannot create a power sword. She will hold her hand out. Supper and the white light will be. You experience a sensation that you probably haven't felt since Ordish's time with you. Who? Do you mean Borgok? Bor I'm sorry, my brain is frying. <laughs> You've got yeah. a little one who's trying to get uh -huh. your attention. And he also just tried to put a d20 in his mouth. Ew! <laughs> okay. Because they look delicious, they are not edible. Definitely don't be getting those ones made out of pure sugar. Stop it. You're giving me ideas. Um, <laughs> um, yes. Something that you haven't experienced since days with your wife. That experience of both pain and pleasure. A welcoming sensation. You're going to pause you there. Mm-hmm. 
which will bring us back around to Austin. Who's hopefully been doing some thinking. Austin would like the oath bow. Um, that may be possible. Research. <clears throat> Excuse me. One minute to do a little reading here. That's not. It's not super long. I like how Dinox's wife's name seems to have changed a few times. <laughs> no, it's always been... Borgok? Yeah. Okay, because at one point, I believe uh, the DM called her Gortash. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. No, Gortash was somebody else. Huh. Also... How many names does this man have to remember? Yeah. Right? A lot. So, go through your notes, make sure it's all... Yeah. Well, I've only got her name twice now. She was never name-dropped before. Just Dinox's wife. Dinox's wife. Okay. That weapon's fine. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, I I gave it to her in well, not to her, but to one of uh, her characters. Her characters in a different game, and mm -hmm. oh, so we're just gonna pull a weapon from across the void. Ooh. I mean, no, Asta is rangers are meant to be DPS people. That bow is going to do pretty much the same thing. That bow is going to be DPS. <laughs> Yes, it will DPS and it'll do a good a good gerb DPS. Um, <laughs> um 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 yeah, that that is fine. Um uh, effectively wishing wishing for that is okay. And you also experience a very similar sensation of pain. Yeah. Well, keep doing it, okay? And of that similar sensation of pain and pleasure. Mm. Now. Oh. We're going to go back to this one. As you guys are filled with this brilliant, bright light, this pain and pleasure right raking across your body. Daddy. And <clears throat> for some of you, Particularly Tatia and Valinar. Quiet. 
No, I'm serious. You're pissing me. <laughs> oh, oh. oh boy. Did I just hear a gun cock? <laughs> you probably heard my phone bing. Oh. For CPS purposes, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Rip. We're not we're we're not gonna get you in trouble. Promise. As you guys Um here. Hold on one second. Situated. Really quick and then I'll this. Suspense is killing me. Yeah, I'm going to die of suspense. Let's sit down. Sorry, I'm going to I do this again. As the pain and pleasure envelops Katia and Valinor, mm -hmm. guys' pain eventually outweighs the as you guys feel as though you are being unmade and reformed. Oof. For Asta, actually for the rest of you, it is mostly pleasure that you experience as the effects that Scientia is granting are not to your physical bodies themselves. And for Katya and Valinar, as you guys are surrounded in the light, you are born anew. In a sense. And with a boom of magical energy. Everyone's wish granted. Ooh. And when you guys look, clearing the blinking white from your eyes. You do not see Scientia. Whoa. You see a pile of snow. Melted snow. So nearly water at this point. Slushy. Mm -hmm. Where she previously stood. I hope there's not a Laputa sitting on top of us right now. <clears throat> <laughs> the Laputa? Somewhere on the Hofking. I also <laughs> want to. I also want to point out, as we begin to wrap up the episode here for the night, because I feel like this is a very appropriate place. Yeah. That number that I said, very low, eight, right? Seven. 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 Cool. Yeah. Um. I rolled a nine and a nine and an eleven. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Very close. Yeah. But you guys have some work to do. Mm-hmm. Some work and some new things to look over. And the rest of you. The only person who is not granted with an immediate satisfaction of their wish being granted is Dinoch. <clears throat> because as for Xenos and Asta, you guys clear your mind, or you clear your eyes and are capable of seeing once again. 
to where just in front part of the snow kind of resting on top of this like slushy like snow are the items that you requested a circlet for Xenos and a longbow for Asta Xenos, I find... get it Xenos you can find the item in D&D Beyond under um, <laughs> uh, Twinned Mine mm. <clears throat> and that my friends where we're going to go ahead and end the session for how do you spell it. twin? Just twin. <laughs> Just twin. <laughs> oh, you spell it twice. Okay. It's not twin. Okay. Twin, twin. like a twin. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, nice. Everyone, that is our first session of November. Damn. Uh huh. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. That was fun. I had a lot of... <laughs> I have some quick changes to make. Lots of moving pieces. But anyway, you guys have a great night, and we look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. Good night. Good night. See you next time. Hopefully see Till you next time. Till next time.